Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Good Headquarters. How are you? My name is Tosh. Trisha. Trisha, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. All right, so we're at the Good House. Here with Trisha. Um, as you Tosh. can see, we've got all the skateboards up. These are all the boards that we've been doing for the past year or so, a couple years. Uh, got my pro model over there, Tosh Australia. Got that American flag. And then we got the new series over here, which is the Point Break series. How'd you guys get that idea? What was the, what was this? the wave board is right there. Oh, the wave board? Oh, yeah, my pro model with the wave board, too. But then we got the Point Break, too, that I'm super stoked about. Tommy's been doing a lot of the good, uh, all the graphics and stuff. He's been killing with that. What's it about? Good. It's about just a grassroots company that's skate around and skater back. And then the big corporations behind it. And getting together with the homies and skating and doing the thing and got all these kids from the Midwest out here killing it. We got Brent and Andrew and his neighbors. How long has the company been running? Uh, we've been running since I'd say 2016. That's good. So we're going on uh, like two years. 2015. 2015. 2015, 2015, yeah. 2015 and yeah, so three years. How's it going I don't so know. far? Years just fly by, so I don't really, you know. <laughs> Couldn't really think about it. <laughs> I just don't even know. Just keep it going. Now everything's uh, been going good. We've just been uh, getting some orders from shops and pushing them locally with like our skaters, you know, and their shops that they're, they're locally from in the Midwest and getting some distribution traction and just getting, you know, main goal is to get in shops and get orders because without sales, you don't have a company. Yeah. <laughs> How many sponsors do you have already? Uh, I have. I don't even know. We got Powerflex, Good Skateboards, Super Brand, Independent Trucks. That's about it. And Bone sends me some stuff every once in a while. So how many is that? Five or so? Five sponsors. Good. <laughs> I don't really keep track of that either. <laughs> do you know America plugs? Oh, I got America do good, good shout out, dude. America still sends me shoes. Like the boss okayed it. He's like, yeah, I keep sending him shoes. He's a legend. OG for life. <laughs> but uh yeah, other than that we got our painting I found in the trash can. That one? That actually represents Tommy and I. Dope. Tommy's actually goofy foot and loves Adidas and wears super high high riser shorts. And then I like to wear belt bottoms and like just slash around town. <laughs> you found that in the trash can. Yeah, I found that in the trash can. That's her her staple of the good skateboard house. What's your favorite graphic? Good question. My favorite graphic? <laughs> I was really stoked. Recently, I was really stoked on the. Obviously, the guns don't kill people. I kill people. It's awesome. And then, which goes with Happy Gilmore up there. <laughs> um, and then I like my new my newest graphic too is the, the Tosh Wave. We kind of just had this tsunami idea, and then Tommy threw it up on a board and turned into that. Which was Pretty cool because Tommy's been doing good on the on the art direction. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta give people? props where it's where it's deserved. How many people are on good skateboards? Uh, currently, we have uh, five riders: Joey, Brent, and Andrew, and Brooks, and myself. And don't forget about Tommy. Cause he's gonna film a video part too. <laughs> <laughs> Any new projects you're working on besides Good Skateboards? Uh, we're working on a video currently for Good Skateboards. Probably come out in like 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. With the, with the way that my footage is going cause I barely ever get clips. And we just post them on Instagram these days anyways cause everything's just easier on fast. Instagram. <laughs> no, it's just, everything's just uploaded fast. It's not about video parts anymore, I feel like, anymore. It's like, when's the last time an actual video has come out? 
or they do, but it's just it's just different these days with the social media. But it's cool. What do you think about the whole Instagram putting part? Like, a I think it just it doles down what's going on because people just see so much, so it just like passes by, and then they just forget about it. What's the next thing? What's the next thing? Instead of kind of remembering, like back when I was coming up and turned pro, it was like really about concentrating on that video part. And then that video part would come out and that video would be, you know, out there for a year or even two years circulating and people would be talking about that video part. And yeah. I just don't really see that anymore. So. But it's, I mean, it's just, you know, it's changed it's with the times. It just changes. Like, yeah. things are changing. Whether it's for the better or not, it's just you gotta kind of grow with them too. It's the same with, at the same time, for us, it's good too because we don't have to spend a bunch of advertising dollars because we can just throw up an Instagram. That's true. Too. So I mean, the benefits and you know, there's benefits and there's, you know, there's pros and cons too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's cool. <laughs> it's the future. You gotta, you gotta get with the times. What was your last trip you did? Uh, last trip. China, and I was over there for the wave mm -hmm. surfing on a tidal board it's a tidal board that's in a river and basically what? it's produced by the the, uh, the the actual height of the I can't even think what it's called right now but it's basically like when the, in October it's, the moon's the closest to the earth mm -hmm. so the wave gets the biggest at the time okay. and as the tide pushes out it creates this tidal wave and pushes through this whole river and then you're basically riding along and the wave doesn't stop it just keeps going through the river so you're on jet skis like racing the thing yeah. trying to get ahead of it and you got a partner and you're like surfing around trying to find the best wave so it's like you miss the best one and then it comes into like a flat section it's really difficult mm -hmm. actually how long did it take you to do it um it was like a 10-day trip but it's a one that like kind of like a three-day thing where we surf mm -hmm. it three days in a row oh, like okay. there's a kind of like a semi-final both mm -hmm. days for six different teams yeah and then there's a final day the top two teams go to the final day okay. based on their score so that's how'd you do that was a lot of fun um actually we did it pretty good i took a local kid from here that's a really good surfer his name is kyle mcgeary and we ended up third place out of six teams next to mm -hmm. actually some really talented surfers shane magnuson and Jamie O'Brien, Kobe Overton, and Dingo, Dean Morrison. So, it felt pretty good to be up there with them. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like a total of, you said 10 days? Uh, it was, yeah, well, we the trip was 10 days, but the, the surfing was like three days. Because oh. as the as the moon gets closer the, and the tide builds, the tide gets higher, the yeah. wave gets bigger. Oh, so every day that the wave's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so when the first bridge that you start at is like a huge bridge that crosses the river, is where we start. And it's just kind of like something you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Because you're sitting there, the current's sucking out, and you're like on the ski, throttling, and you're looking back and all of a sudden a tidal wave is on. It's coming. Oh. Just a big mountain of white water. Yeah. And then as it hits the bridge, it gets into deep water, so it backs off. And then as it comes right past the bridge, it breaks real nice. Mm -hmm. and it makes a left-hander all the way through down to the Tide of War City, they call it. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was a definite experience. There was, you know, everyone's always like, is the water dirty? And you're like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's probably just as dirty as here. It's yeah. brown. Everyone thinks it's dirty because it's brown. Oh, okay. But honestly, it's just as dirty here. We got a sanitation yeah. plant right here that they like release right. shit into the ocean all day. Especially in IBs, they release all their sewage into oh, the yeah. ocean. Oh yeah, I mean that's LA's so right there too. It's all that's all coming in here too. It's not. It's just as dirty as here. It's just a big ocean. It's... I'm getting hungry. Is there anything good to eat around here? Yeah, actually, there's a place right down the street. It's called the Sugar Shack. We should go uh, check it out. They got a really good uh, Kepler special. Sounds good. I'm down to go. Let's go.
the history of Shaq. You can tell them a little bit of the history of Shaq. Yeah, well, it's been in the Jenna family for, what, over 50 years. And, uh, of course, uh, Michelle, I mean, she ruled the roost forever, but now the boys. It's uh, Ryan and Timmy. And the two ones. Yeah. I mean, this is it. I mean, if you're going to have breakfast in Huntington Beach, <laughs> this, is about to go. this is the place to go. You know? I mean, there's other places, but this is the place where the ship goes down you know, in the morning. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing today? <laughs> I'm sure. look, look what he brings, dude. Well, they're bringing this exhibition to Huntington. And it's the one that's been at Shack called uh, Surf to Skate, which is the connection between how surfers started skateboarding and then in the 60s, all the surf brands you know, made skateboards and everything. So they've had this incredible exhibition down at the Surfing Heritage and they're moving it to the Huntington Museum. And uh, we're going to be doing a locals piece in it. Of course, he'll be part of that. Nice. Everybody print on the back too. You got the boards out of here. No, we, we want we want one of those to be in the exhibition. Oh, you got those. Yeah. But we're we're doing a, a, a locals thing uh, that's an extension because that exhibit goes all the way to Dogtown and Zephyr. And all those guys are coming. You know, like they're all going to come, Jeffo and them. All right. And then we're going to do the next version. is going to be the guys of Huntington, and we're doing. 
five guys. John Bobby Nishi. Uh, Guy Grundy and Chewy Madrigal for the downhill thing because those were surf brand. Chewy Chewy? Chewy yeah, Chewy Chewy. <laughs> Chewy Chewy? He was, he was, he was if it ever comes to a time where I'm just riding a longboard, I'm going to quit surfing. <laughs> yeah, but when you get to 65, that changes. I know. <laughs> I'm going to be 65 this year. Yeah, but you said it, so I'm going to hold you to it. So, yeah. I'm still surfing. I, I, now, good, yeah. I now subscribe to Jerry Lopez's statement last year at, at the uh, the gala they did in, in, in his benefit. That he said, you just got to keep paddling out. <laughs> you just got to keep pushing. That's like with, skate, that's with skateboarding. It's like, if I don't keep skateboarding, I lose it. You know, it takes, yeah, but you know, it takes a little bit to get it back. Yeah, and but, I can get it back, but it's like if I if I don't do it enough. Yeah, okay. So I move feel like that, a Barney. So move that on. Yeah. Move, move that on. Move that on. Twenty years. I know. Are you still I don't there? Are you, you still? No, no. Move about. that on twenty. <laughs> move that on twenty years now from when you used to do twenty stair staircases. Are you still doing that? I'll still hit like. No walk down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. I'll still hit. No, well, okay, we got to San Fran. So you want to hit in that? Twenty years. In twenty years. No, now. No. Right now. Yeah. I won't hit no 20, but I'll hit a 15. <laughs> I'll, hit like a, I'll hit a 14, sir. I'll, 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 I'll hit a 15 right now. Yeah. I think he got it. How big was that one you did in China last year? The, the that was 10. Small. It was a 10. It was like a 9. It was like a 9. Yeah. 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 I was sore the next day. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's really about just keep going. Going and right. Doing it. Like yeah. life is, like, you got to keep paddling. Yeah. And for instance, yeah. too, it's sometimes when you stop, your body starts hurting. It starts well, I mean, look more. at Andrew Reynolds. It's like yeah. Perfect example of you know conditioning. He just Andrew keeps on cold. conditioning, and he can sit there and sure. still jump down gnarly ass shit. He's like in his forties. Yeah. He's like coming like up. 40. He's coming up on forty. Yeah, I think he's thirty nine yeah. right now. And he has. And I mean, he's respect to enjoying. respect to him for keeping it going like that. But wow. Yeah. My my body. Well, that's why my body wasn't built the same. I'm like 200 pounds, he's like 150 yeah, at the same really height. Yeah. Well, you, get, you gotta, that's where you got to admire someone like, heavy is, like yeah, Caballero. Like way different. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean he's, yeah. still so he's, Not, he's still skating. And like Cab crazy. still skates yeah, too like that. Even Hussoy like like yeah, still part. skates too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's I'm just so it's about the conditioning and keep on going. Keep on doing it. Keep on pushing. Keeps your body alive. You can get away from working. <laughs> well, you don't have to get a real regular. job. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have to get a real job if you're Steve Caballero and you sold a million shoes. Yeah. Still counting. I didn't sell a million shoes. I probably sold like fifty thousand shoes. The Tosh One sold a lot. I think it was like fifty thousand. America? Speaking of nice. Yeah. Thanks so much. Here's your toes. There's a better look at it right there. Tom, so you can see me and him hold when he's one year old. <laughs> Just a uh, one toasted English muffin. Do you want butter on it? Uh, no, keep the butter off it. Okay. She knows everything I like. What's going on here? She's on to you. <laughs> Kepler special. <laughs> That's your toast. What you order them? Just toast the English muffin. Is that what you always get or no? Just some uh, usually I'll get two eggs, white scrambled. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, easy there. Excuse me. Olympic skateboarding meeting for the world. Oh yeah! Kind of how the people are going to get the Olympics. <laughs> did you Did you hear that? 
roller skaters are running the skateboarding part but, of the Olympics. But they get in that change. They get in that change. Okay, good. That's what the meeting was about. Yeah, because that's ridiculous. They're running the whole operation of it. Right. Yeah, roller they were gonna. Skating. They were gonna be same the thing that happened with snowboarding. The that's what happened. That's what happened with snowboarding. Skaters. No way. But they I mean, got that makes it, no sense. But they've got yeah. to change. But all the boys were there. The deacon, all everyone was there. Don Brown, the, the, all, the whole crew of, the, of that era of skateboarding, they're all there to find well, they're out. They're all business owners. Well, they were wanting to find out what, what's going to happen because the exposure for skateboarding and surfing in the Olympics is going to be massive. Yeah. The people, just like what happens with Sean White. Those people will be the most famous surfers and skateboarders that have ever lived. 1.6 billion people watch yeah, this. It's, it's not so. It's, it's this coming. It's in two 2020. Years. Yeah, 2020. 2020. Two years skateboarding will be in the Olympics. And they're going to start qualifying for skateboarding in 2019. The qualifications. Is it basically just a street league? Concept, uh, they they, they have a street. And park, I think they're going to have. I think that's what it is. Park's going to be like a bowl, oh, yeah. that bowl style, like right. they do it, the X Games or whatever. Right. <laughs> I'd rather see downhill slalom. <laughs> <laughs> that so right. That's going to be in there though too, I think. So right? One day, not this time. Not, not this time, time but oh, I right. think they're it gonna is. I think they're actually going to have downhill slalom. And all the old guys are just like, yes. They'll make a comeback. <laughs> they're going to make a comeback. What's that, what's that one dude with the mullet? <laughs> he, he bombs down the hill. He does like a hundred cones and he's oh. just going crazy. Yeah, you got to yeah. get in that rhythm. I have to make a comeback. I came third in the Australian slalom, not in '75. You ever been? Hey, you ever been to like a slalom contest? No. <laughs> I've actually gone to one in Oceanside. There's this famous hill for down down right. slalom, and, and because my father-in-law is good friends with a, a famous guy named Keith Holing, he's from Florida. Nuts guy travels with a knife everywhere he goes. <laughs> sends himself weed. Sends himself weed. To my to my in laws' house up in Westlake, he's like, my my father in laws is tripping. Like, why are you sending your weed in my house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you know, you're flying to California too. It's like, you sent weed from Florida to California. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Because he can't travel without it. Basically, if I can't find it, I'll lose my mind. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you're going he's to nuts. California. He's Keith Tolles, he's a down like famous downhill guy. <laughs> What made you pick skating over surfing? Um, good question. I actually started. I started surfing because my father, right here, was <laughs> the first world champion in 1976, and he always paddled us out and got us into surfing. But he also worked with companies closely, like Santa Cruz and NHS. That my mom was taking photographs of the catalog boards that they would catalog. So at one time I remember him being like, basically because he had all the boards that my mom was photographing. You could pick, we got, me and my brother got to pick out one board each. Oh wow. So that's basically what got us into it. Yeah, please. Yeah. Thanks, man. Was the old, uh, still around today, Val Sur, biggest retailer in the, yeah, in the so valley. And then what got us into it, why I picked skateboarding, was I think to just kind of go down a different pathway and not completely live in the legacy of my pops. Because I think if I put in the time, yeah, I could have done surfing too. Because I had the passion and the drive to do whatever I wanted to do. Yeah. I guess he's pretty good. So I remember when we drove. I picked skateboarding. Out we of, drove to Long Beach for that first castle, first castle contest. Remember yeah. the very first one that <laughs> <laughs> when you were 11. Yeah, right? California Amateur Skateboard League. We were. He was traveling with us every weekend with West Lot and Ryan, or I don't know if Ryan was Galvin. There. Galvin, West Lot, and we would all go up Hemet and out in the middle of nowhere. Bakersfield. Up in, up in, <laughs> Bakersfield. Where's that other one too? The one up north that's Paul Rodriguez's yeah, yeah, famous for going to Blue Park. Run. Yeah, we skate house or what is it? Something yeah, like skate that. Skate lab or whatever. Skate lab. So we go to yeah. skate lab too and contest there and then Ventura was a big one. That was the state championships and I actually won the state championships when I was 14. I think I was 14 or 13, something like that. So state champion and then just and then you lost to Sheckler the next year and you said I'm over this contest stuff. <laughs> I, I quit yeah, I was I was over the yeah that's true. I was over the I was, I was over the that's true story. I lost. 
<laughs> and I just started just concentrating on <laughs> filming and, and shooting photos, uh, getting okay. editorial coverage, yeah. and getting more sponsors. And, Okay. But you did do some next games, some gravity games on that. Remember oh, the yeah, gravity games? I was games. invited to them, so I'd show up and place top ten. Went to, <laughs> went to France, like that. went to France and made the cut when you were a drum. Remember? Yeah, I just couldn't win those contests. <laughs> Tampa Am. There was too many flying Brazilians. <laughs> they were gnarly though too. I mean, the Brazilians were so driven too that I mean, they come to these contests and they just have a line down. And you didn't even. Get one line. <laughs> you just have. You need to have your line, but they were just so driven to, to win. Which, did you like, like respect to them. Did you like doing contests? Did you like I it? didn't. Or were you just doing this? It was fun when it was. It was fun. When, I was <laughs> when, when he was winning, it was fun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I bombs are but, but but I have a really good like so yeah. Of course, he started surfing and then skateboarding kind of took over, but. There was a period where he just gave up surfing, like all together. He, he was surfing and skating because he won an NSSA championship in uh, the, the NSSA Junior, right? So in the same year, he had won California Junior surfing and, jun and, and Junior skateboarding. And then he was just over this. He thought skateboarding was, uh, surfing was bad for his image. So he, <laughs> he, he goes, I'm over this, this, this surfing shit. And so he didn't, he didn't surf for, wow, maybe nearly two years, but then we, we had this house that we owned over on, over on uh, Pacific Sands with walking distance to the beach and one day all these buddies came down from Vegas to, to hang out and they were all oh, young the, guys the and they had never the uh, they had never surfed and they wanted to go surfing and so Tosh, you know, we had tons of surfboards around the house. You well, know, like Chicago too. I have a bunch of Chicago kids too. So you see him and a bunch of pasty white Vegas skaters walking down, <laughs> down, 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 down Beach Boulevard to the beach, and they they get to the beach, and he hadn't surfed for a while. He straight away paddled out, stood up, and drove, rode in, and they all went, "Wow, that was kind of cool." How do you do? How do you know how to do that? Because they they couldn't even get through the shore break or get out of there. That's how it was too. With this, the kids from Chicago, which was Dean, like Dean and Pete. I don't know if Pat Sinner ever went surfing, but I think maybe he did try it a couple of times. Pasquale or Wes Lott even too. Even being from Huntington, I would get him on the board and I'd, I'd show him how to paddle out, but I'd be like, "Go ahead, you know." And, and then I'd be looking back, and they'd just be getting washed back. <laughs> and they just be getting tossed in, and it's just like, oh yeah, have fun with that. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's not what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I could not do People it to from the Midwest, are saying they've just, never been to the ocean, so they don't uh, know the power of the currents. First few times I tried it, I got worked. <laughs> like, Tommy's like, dude, come on. I'm like, I'm trying. Like, I'm just getting washed down by these waves. I'm like, I gotta go back in. So what happened because? So what happened because of that? He realized that. I guess surfing's cool, and he's and he started surf he started surfing again because all his, all his buddies thought, wow, surfing's cool. Why 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 don't you surf anymore? You know, like <laughs> it looks amazing. It looks so fun. <laughs> and I think uh, rehabilitation was good too because whenever I'd get injuries, I'd like to get back in the water and kind of like test the ankles out or whatever had happened. What's cold water? <laughs> but, they, but the cold water feels good on your, on your ankles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's good recovery. Yeah. That's why I kind of started getting back into it more, too. Let's go skate. And then... Any ideas? What was that? What are we going to do now? We're going to go to the Van <laughs> Skate Park and see if we can get away with getting these cameras in there. If we can't, we're going to just do a couple little GoPro clips and All right. go from there. How'd you like the breakfast? <laughs> Oh yeah! yeah I am. Pretty skate. Are you? I like that. All right. She's more excited to skate than I am. Welcome to Vans HB. Have fun.
watching Rose Faith with Tosh Townend. Any last words? Just want to say thank you guys and for coming out and going to the Sugar Shack with us. Had a good day skating at the Vans Park. Representing good skateboards and we got true skateboard or true skateboard mag and then uh, roast beef baby. Nice meeting you. Thanks for coming to Sugar Shack. Before you go skate, come get your food at Sugar Shack. No. <laughs> I'll send you a double. It's delicious. It's so good. That coffee, the hot chocolate oh, coffee, yeah. that's where it's that at. That was my favorite. That was honestly some of the best coffee yeah. I've had. That was really good. Sugar Shack, that's where it's at. <laughs> yeah, do you know? So they're called the Old Geezers, and they're a bunch of um, old guys that sit on a, on a table, 14 out front, and they've been coming here for years and years and years. They're called the, uh, the HB Boys, and someone made these cups for them, so there they are, the Old Geezers. Yeah. Pain in the ass, but we love them. I ride an 8.38, and my trucks are independent trucks. They're like uh, size 146. Nine. Oh, oh, 149. Either way. Uh, I talked to that guy, Jim Gray, and he hooked me up with some. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> Powerflex wheels. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Yeah, that was perfect. I don't even have to talk, dude. <laughs> Can you just do that more often? I'd rather that. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Dad Dog. Dude, I'm so I like I like to be super sad all the time and just, just throw little fits. I like to throw trash cans around and be like, where's my money? Suicidal! <laughs> I'm so stoked on my little car, dude. I know, he's got a new little Corolla. Fucking awesome, dude. It's good, dude. I, I, I was like, that's the best idea I ever heard you say. I kind of have no choice, dude. dude. My truck You're just gonna keep costing yourself money with that truck. See that? Do you know how to cut that good? Fuck. Oh, I haven't been doing it as long as you've been born. <laughs> <laughs> Over 40 years. Damn, son. Since uh, 1975, I rode a little plastic DT board in our driveway and surfed on the little fucking. Dude, he's got shit on I was us. a real sidewalk surfer, bro. Well, you can, you know. They're gonna have downhill in the Olympics, you can get back in. I'll be Olympics. <laughs> <laughs>